cameras, and action. Alright, well, I'm back now, folks, so hopefully you don't mind hearing me eating, just so you can um, watch the next playthrough pretty quick. Um, so, as I said, let's go with Belgium. And, um, I think, let's go with historical focus. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll go with non-historical. So, we'll get started here. Now, how many divisions have I got? It's been a while since I've played as Belgium. So, that's nine. Well, oh, ten, actually. Not so bad. Uh, now, let's have a quick look. How many divisions will you guys have? Five to eleven. Well, for now, I'm going to put you entirely up on that border with a plan to push right into Amsterdam um, for my national focus. So it's going to be the standard tree. Um, now, the real question is, what am I going to do? I think I'll take the um, political power first. Uh, civilian factories, how many have I got? Total of 12, and six years are going to be assigned. I think I will just start out by um, building up some more civilian factories. Uh, for research, again, we're going to go with the um, standard selection. Um, anything else I need to do? Apparently more unassigned division. Uh, I've got some people sitting way down here. Only one. Well, you can join this army up here for that plan, because one of my first plans is going... Why didn't you assign? Apparently because I deselected you. Um, yeah, one of my first uh, plans is going to be to take out the Netherlands here. They're probably my um, one of my closest and easiest neighbours to target. Uh, so, with six factories here, what am I going to do? Let's go three and add in... Well, I was about to say artillery, but I don't even have artillery yet. Well, I'll have to make that a bit of a priority to research. Um, and you know what? I think I will just make it straight up six there. I haven't got any um, ports to go with yet. Uh, so I'll speed this up and we'll watch time start to tick over while I continue to eat.
Alright, so still going along here, wait like for a few more of these focuses to happen. Uh, let's focus on civilian factories for the moment. Try and get as much uh, building power as we can. Um, okay, bonus. Well, let's take that one because it's not far ahead. No major penalty and I need it. At least getting it completed quicker will be nice. So as I said, one of the um, first things I want to research once I get past some of this uh, industry is to pick up some artillery. Because in this game, artillery is surprisingly powerful. And then again, let's face it, you know, if you had um, a bunch of artillery shells whistling by your ears, you'd probably be a little scared too. that one. Let's grab. Grab the silent workhorse to boost our political power gain. Now one of the other things that I'm a little actually disappointed that I won't be able to get is I was hoping I was going to have a Prince of Terror because um, that helps boost uh, manpower from the um, uh, from non-core states. And pretty much in general, only your starting lands are your core states. And as you can see, when I've got a total available population in my core states of 8.19 million, yet 11.56 million in my non-core states, you can see I get the full 1.5% from the core states, but 0.027 from the non-core states. So um, usually any kind of uh, boost to the... Um, manpower pool is very welcome. Alright, keep going with the construction effort. How are we doing with the training? Should I put a pause to that? Yes, I will, because you're all done. Uh, yep, we're regaining in the infantry equipment. Support equipment's probably the next one behind that. Games of the Olympiad, eh? Industry, what's up next? Hmm. Let's grab some support weapons, because we know we're going to want to try and get some wars going pretty early. I'm thinking to myself, should I start training some more divisions also, but... You know, it's only going to take, what, three divisions, and that choose through, like, all the manpower that I've got available. So, you can see that it'd be over pretty quick. keep going with that um, infrastructure and all that right now because um, I want to try and get this um, extra research slot as quickly as I can get my hands on it because I'm sure as you can imagine research is a very powerful tool all right my next 150 points let's make you captain of industry that'll do nicely yep that'll suit well 25% when I think it's once you're past 33 that you start getting um, extra little pop-ups that'll uh, boost the fact uh, yeah boost the um, like popularity of a particular ideology. Now I'm coming with that research couple pop just then. There's my artillery, so I'll um, get some of that building right away. At least this doesn't have too much of a penalty now, so I'll start taking the increase in the industry. So, um, I need to go there. Let's pull you back one, add in artillery. That looks good for the moment. I think what I'll do is actually reduce this by one and tell it to build up some more... Um, 
has some more military factories. Um, okay, see these are the little pop-ups that I like, so it must have been 25% that was the limit. So, uh, rather reform than revolution, or I can take a hit to my national unity, increase democratic. Well, I want to go communist, so we'll rather reform than revolution. National Spain. Wonder is um I can't really tell at the moment. Because with France um they usually have two ways of going, is that they either end up as um as democratic, which they usually do in um well, sorry, they always do whenever they play as uh, the standard historical focuses, or um, when you go non-historical, there's probably about, I'd say, maybe 30-40% of the time they'll go communist. And seeing as I'm going communist, that'd be a nice little um, boost to have sitting right behind me, you know? Alright, support weapons. Yep, cool. That's what I wanted. Uh, that's a year ahead, so I won't take that. That's a year ahead. Let's pick up some radio. Yep, people can call themselves whatever they want. And that's enough to get us over that we'll be changing to uh, demo uh, communist very soon. I'm happy with that. There's our referendum. So, as I said, take a few hits to um, national unity there. But I can start my justify a war goal against um, yeah, Holland, 63, 3.15, 6%. I think I will do them, followed by Luxembourg. How many points are you going to need? Another two. Luxembourg, you're on the queue also. Well, you certainly did not even win near as much, um, uh, well, tension. No, let's crash, uh, face it, you're a one province state versus, you know, Netherlands. The good thing about taking down the Netherlands is they are no doubt going to kill their pub at the Dutch East Indies as their ally, and um, during that process, once I uh, capitulate them, I'm going to um, uh, satellite... Um, the Dutch East Indies as my own. And that is going to give me a whole lot more rubber. Um, I'll get oil out of that. I think that's about it for the most part. I don't think there's too many other resources over here. That, uh, a bit of aluminium. As you can see, what I sort of really need is... Um, well, actually, I need some aluminium, so that would do nicely. Let's keep that rolling. And, as I said, the other good parts, we're not going to end up with any guarantees getting thrown around at the moment, because that only happens once it hits 25%. Yes, I'm angered by posturing. <laughs> um, achieve world domination without joining a faction. Uh, yeah, there's there's a reasonable chance of it. I mean, um, they've changed the um. 
the way that the uh, peace conferences work now and the way that your uh, war score accumulates. Like, I've seen some playthroughs where people have played as Luxembourg or, uh, where is it, little Bhutan over here and um, do world conquest like that, which have been some, um, some really funny playthroughs to watch. Uh, let's take this collectivist ethos and let's start spending this extra technology slot. Uh, what am I going to take? Do I keep with the grand battle plan? Mm. Well, it's not my favourite, but I will keep with it. Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. Yeah, another thing that usually happens when you go in the non-historical focus is that uh, Poland decides to make their own faction with um, the likes of uh, Lithuania, Latvia, sometimes Estonia. Um, yeah, it's a um, bit of a interesting one. And then usually um, uh, Germany will end up sort of justifying on them and before you know it Poland doesn't exist anymore so it's um it's uh, yeah one of those things that happens now when playing as a small country you definitely want to get yourself um field hospitals to try and preserve your manpower as much as you possibly can uh, all right there's the towed artillery going and I think what I'll do is add in the support artillery company to start with um, and once I've got some more um, some more uh, army experience, I will um, pick up the uh, the line artillery divisions. Still too far ahead. I'm getting that going now. Let's just pick up the boost to artillery also. What date is this due to fire? In early December, that's cool, I can live with that. I've got some more points to spend. Um, let's go with War Economy, because we can now get it. So at least that'll make uh, all my factories build a lot faster, which is exactly what I want. How long is this one going to take? 20th of January. Those two aren't all that far apart, are they? Now I've seen, um, when I've done, uh, justifications before, you know, one takes its normal amount of time, your second justification takes about one and a half times the amount of time. So, I, yeah, I can't say exactly what that was all about. Well, there's those. Done. Um, all right. So, really, while I don't need to worry about any more communism support, what else do I get here? Subversive activities and 200 political power, that's not bad. Doctrination, I get a boost to my national unity and political power. That's uh, division recovery rate. See, what I really would have liked is... Something like this, where you get a boost in your recruitable population. Huh? Fascist? Not a... So then why change in popularity of communism when you take militarism, but it locks me out of it? I want the recruitable population, but I can't pick it up. And I'm pretty sure that one of the blocks to get this, uh, you need it to be non-aligned. Well... Hmm. What to pick up? Well, let's just go with that. Boosting political power is always nice. Uh, so I've got some more factories going. Let's make you three. Let's make another edit to my infantry divisions by adding my uh, two. I thought I was so close to having that. Yeah, very close. Marco Polo bridge incidents. Yep. Alright, there's my 10 points, and as you can see, I've now got my goal combat width of 20. Uh, so I'll leave these guys to keep training. And yeah, now for shortfall of 522. Something I can live with. As I said, I'm quite sure that 
Well, I'd like to think that my 11 divisions is going to be enough to take them out. I mean, there's no guarantee, but... Um, oh, unpause it and keep going, guys. I can do but just sit and wait for this um, justification to tick over. You're fine, you're fine. I think you guys are all fully trained now so I'll let you roll. Let's add in, yep, another one there. Yeah, sometimes when you're operating on these um, fast speeds like that, um, you'll find that um, like you click something and it doesn't properly register so Sometimes you have to do it more than once. <laughs> uh, now, what I should also do... Is that my only Air Force? Yes, it is. But I will have them operate over here. What are you, fighters? Yeah. Let's queue you up. Let's boost you up to 100. Why not? Did that actually click over? Yes, it did. So there's the internationalism. Let's grab... Do we want political correctness? Nobody likes political correctness, but I'm going to take it anyway. Okay, there's my next lot of political power. So, how about I increase my conscription laws? So that way I can start training some more divisions. Let's go with you know, 6, 10, 11. We'll make it just 10 at the moment. Are you full man? Yes, full manpower, but you're lacking some... Infantry. I can live with that. There goes Japan. Pretty standard, um, pretty standard thing to have happen. So have a Sino-German ties. You go ahead and do that. What are you doing? Did you befriend Japan? I have no way of seeing anymore. All right, factories. What are we going to do? You know what? Let's give myself just a little extra oomph along this border by adding in some forts for myself. Uh, where am I going to put the last one there? How about I put you onto... Yeah, support equipment looks good. Um, now I should probably tell this to be a higher priority and one, one only. Chinese United Front, yep. There's my interwar artillery, and not a moment too soon. That's 1.2 years ahead. Alright, at least this, it's a bit ahead, but at least it's uh, not t too bad. I can um, I can deal with that. That's slightly ahead also. Keep going. Alright. Um, yes, I will crush their dictatorship. Rally behind the cause, peoples. I say 10th of December. Yep. Getting close now. You guys are coming along nicely. Let's double check you still don't need training. No, you're good. No part of me is thinking, do I change these last few divisions to um, the infantry divisions also? I think maybe I'll do that a bit later. There's the field hospitals about to be done. Um, and how about I actually assign you a general? And you've got some decent skills. Mountaineer and Hellfighter. Not bad at all. I will take it. Doesn't look like you're going to be fighting any hills over there, but um, I'll take it nonetheless. So, yeah, signal Company is a nice one to have. See, these are all planes. So I'm going to get absolutely no... Bar Do I even have mountains? Forest, forest... I can't really see properly, but I'm pretty sure they're all forests. So it makes you wonder, how do I even get a guy with Mountaineer and Hellfighter when I don't actually have any hills or mountains? It's a little funny like that sometimes. Alright, first of all, have we got an infantry expert? Yes, we do. He's got some good stats there. Um... Let's just build up a, another row of them here. Yeah, that'll do for the moment. Um, once I've got the next lot of points, I will add in my... I think I'll go with Army Defense. Ah, uh, sorry, Offense. 
Because that thing um, puts me at an equivalent of, uh, what is it, 20 attack, 15 defense bonus. So I'd happily take that. Let's go ahead. I've told you to declare and rush. And he's a winning. And where he is trying to invade? Right there. Well, I've got divisions there anyway. Do I want to take your division? Why not? I'll take your support. Yep, Dutch East Indies, no surprise. And you can see me just rolling over the top of them here. So again, no real surprise. Tell you what, one of the um, harder ways to do it is uh, playing as the Soviet uh, Soviet Union and uh, invading the Netherlands. It's, uh, that doesn't always go well, I tell you what. Come on, 85%, you're nearly there. 95, come on, I can get reinforced. You'll get it, and that's it. Okay, so you can see here, I get to satellite the Dutch East Indies myself. So that changes them from being um, the puppet of Holland to my puppet. And I'll do that, we'll pass a couple of turns, and I will take all states for myself. That's that part done. All right, let's line you up against um, Luxembourg here. You're going to be a uh, pushover. You know, there's this part of me that's also going, do I start a justification against France? No, I won't, because you've already joined the Allies. But at least I've got some um, extra uh, factories and that going on now. Let's go... One, two, three. That looks good. And so I'm six factories off being my own major. Let's add in you, you, you and you. Looks good. There's Luxembourg. So let's uh, uh, declare war. Go, go, go. Oh, how easy it was that. <laughs> They must have not had, like, one single division. Um, alright, what's the next plan after taking that out? You know, I've got my territories down here. I could possibly take a run at Portugal. Or I could... What do I do? You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm actually going to build up um, a bunch of forts over here and I will wait for um, Germany to come at me because we know it's going to happen. Let's move you guys down because I couldn't care less about that. Um, uh, you two, do I even let you finish? Nah, I'll move past that. Don't want to get some extra factories going. I think again, I'll just tell that to do later, and I think, um, other than that, I'll probably go and set these at only five. Uh, well, how about I do it this way, because it's a little easier to judge. Uh, five, 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 oh, wrong, one. Five, too far. No, well, yeah, see, a little too quick for myself sometimes. Uh, and let's queue you up against. Um, that's probably even not enough, is it? Let's uh, quickly delete that order and just double check. Eleven. Yeah, no, it's all green. Cool. I can live with that. I'll tell you to rush Berlin when that happens. Um, I've got some more divisions which are nearly done training. Apparently I've got an extra factory to spend, which I will put right there. So that's cool. But you go like that. Uh, now what I'll also do, while you are actually like this, I will uh, set you all to be infantry divisions. There's the grand battle plan. Let's add some defense and organization for myself. Is um yeah the power of um land doctrine is beyond measure.
That's all for this episode, folks. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and join me for the next episode coming soon.